Hello! Hi, hey, hi girly pops. What's up? <laughs> I hate intros so much. A few weeks ago, I did a video called The Truth About My Job, and it was kind of like a behind the scenes of being a freaking YouTuber. Today's video is going to, number one, have a really exciting announcement, and number two, kind of dive really deep into how brand trips specifically work. This video is sponsored by Hollister, and it's also my announcement video that I am part of the 2019 Swim Squad. So this year, Hollister is really encouraging that this is not just like a squad of people and it's just them and they're on this pedestal that you guys can't reach. It's really about like anyone can be a part of this and they're really focusing on diversity and inclusion and it's all a part of this bigger collective which is the Hollister Collective. I did a sponsored video for them around the time that I was at VidCon and that was super fun and I freaking love Hollister. I'm wearing it right now. I can't believe that number one they have even sponsored me and number two that I'm actually part of the swim squad. So if you follow me on Instagram you know that they took us to the Bahamas which was insane. Hello, I look like such a diva right now, but by the time you're watching this, my face as of the, I can't even talk. Okay. The pictures that they took of all of us will be in the Hollister stores. So go to a Hollister store near you and try to find me. And if you see me, like tag me on Instagram. I want to see it. I haven't even been there yet, but I've seen people go there and see me. So try and spot me out and yeah. I'm sure if you follow enough YouTubers, you've probably seen them go on some branded trips and you're probably wondering, number one, what are those? Who pays for those? What are they for? Are you getting paid for that? What is what is this and what's going on? And today I kind of want to like unveil the cover and explain what goes on behind the scenes and what happens from my point of view and how it's not all rainbows and sunshine and sometimes I get freaking anxiety attacks from them and just all that fun stuff. First, I'm gonna do a little Hollister haul because they sent me some cute new things. Since I'm part of their swim squad, obviously Obviously, it's to build a bunch of hype for their new swims, super cute new swimwear for 2019. Just look at this. This is my new favorite swimsuit. I can't wait to wear this. This is the top. It is a cheetah print and it's like kind of pink, kind of tan colored and then it's ruffly and the back is so cute. And these bottoms, these are the bottoms and the butt has the ruching on the back so it makes your butt look so cute. This is my all-time favorite new bathing suit. This next one is the cutest color ever. You'll see me wearing this one a lot because this is one of the bathing suits they had me wear in the Bahamas. So this is the top. It's kind of like a sports bra and it's very thick so that it supports you. And then it's got the same band and what is this called where it's like lines down? It's called ribbing, Haley. They are ribbed. A nice ribbed bathing suit. Ribbing. I can't remember right now. And then I always love how Hollister puts a tiny little metal logo on there so that it's not obnoxious, but it's just cute enough to where you know, oh, that's from Hollister. This is another one of my favorite tops because it's got the two sturdy bars in the center that like make a little V. I got a bunch of basic black ones because I love wearing these with really cute bottoms. So I got this one, which is just a cute little bow classic. And then I wear them with fun little bottoms like this, which also has the ruching in the back. These black pants are seriously the best black pants I think I've ever owned. They're high rise mom jean but they are so stretchy they feel so comfortable and not like jeans at all and they low-key look really almost like professional but then also hipster I don't know they're just really perfect and really comfortable and then I am currently wearing some high-rise mom jeans with cute little slits in them and this sweater is from Hollister it's very cozy I think my taste buds are messed up right now because this is a cotton candy flavored drink and it tastes like chocolate to me. And yesterday I tried my friend's mocha coffee and it tasted like salsa to me. And I, I'm like genuinely being serious, it tastes like that to me. I got this super duper cute corduroy tan little jacket, zips down the middle and it's got little ties at the bottom. So yeah, that's my little mini Hollister haul. You guys should definitely check them out for your swimwear this year because that Cheeto print, oh my God, it's so pretty. <laughs> and you can see me wearing it on my Instagram. So going into this Bahamas trip, I was more than nervous because I'm usually in control of my videos, my pictures, stuff like that, and you're also thrown into a group of people that you've never met before. But Hollister was so good about being diverse and inclusive of different body types, personalities, ethnicities, everything like that. I did not feel like an outsider at all, and everyone was super warm and welcoming, which I'm going to be honest with you, on most brand trips, that is rare, and you are lucky if you get along with everyone 
one which I did on this trip which let me tell you when I say that's crazy that's actually crazy for a brand trip so I have a bunch of footage from the Bahamas that Charlie my manager helped me get while we were there so I'm going to be kind of talking you through how it went then you can see footage of what was going on I will admit it's a little bit hard for me to watch this footage because I was just so awkward especially day one of shooting I just was very timid and kind of like nervous out of my mind wait what I got an energy drink and it says caffeine free then how is it supposed to work, huh? No wonder it tastes like chocolate this time. So this brand trip was super duper fun because they took us to the Bahamas to the get, to the get, <laughs> to get video for their social media platforms and pictures for in their store and website. Um, Yeah, so you might see me in a Hollister store. If I see that, I'm going to probably start crying, honestly. I've been shopping at Hollister since that's, I was like, could fit into their clothing. I feel like this question is kind of obvious, but yes, they do pay for your trip because they're basically hiring you in a sense I guess you could say <laughs> So day one, Pig Island. <laughs> day one, we got to do whatever we really wanted, basically. Day one in the Bahamas. Today is Tuesday. It's our one free day before we shoot on Wednesday and Thursday, so we can do like anything we want today. So we, as a collective, decided we wanted to go to Pig Island because you can't go to the Bahamas and then just not go to the Pig Island. Like, that had been on my bucket list for so long. On this day, the only real thing that we had to do that was like work related, even though it doesn't really feel like work, is I had an outfit fitting. So what that basically means is since it was on a little island, we had different houses. So they'd be like, oh, meet us at the orange house. And then there were two stylists and they put on the two swimsuits that I was supposed to be wearing for the shoots. And they just made sure everything fit and that it was my style. And then once we like approved everything, then we're all set. So that, you know, the next day when you're on set, you know exactly what you're going to be wearing. You know it fits. Okay, we're going to Adeline's fitting. There she is. And then we're going to the pig. Also, my roommate was Adeline Morin and her manager. And Adeline is such a sweetheart. I love her. She was so funny and very welcoming and not awkward at all. I'm so excited. This was hilarious as well. Oh yeah. Also, everywhere we went on this island was a golf cart. <laughs> There's the crew. Not so funny story. Adeline almost killed us on a golf cart because it was nighttime and she was going so fast down this hill. Sorry, Adeline, I love you, but this golf cart experience was kind of traumatizing to me. There was an intersection, but it was so dark that you can't really see if it's like the end of the road. Honestly, I thought we were going to fly off the island into the ocean because I thought it was like a dead end, except not a dead end because it'd be a cliff. But anyways, but it was an intersection and there's also cars that drive on this island. So she tries slamming on the brakes as soon as she realized a car is coming and I was on the side where the car would have hit me first and I probably would have died. That was really fun after we barely stopped and then I was having like an internal panic attack Adeline was trying to recover so that we could finish driving to dinner Charlie was on the back chilling didn't even see what happened so she was like oh no like what happened well I thought I my life flashed before my eyes I thought I was gonna die and now every time I get in a car I have <laughs> but I do end up driving the golf cart at the end of this video and it's very fun also no shade towards Adeline she was sweet perfect human I can't say she's a good driver but in all other regards she's perfect little human but anyway onto the pigs so we arrived at this little island and the dude tries to call the pigs and all of a sudden these pigs just come running out of nowhere it was so cute they're pretty nice at first only these humongous ones came out and I made an entire vlog if you want like an in-depth pig island review I have so much b-roll of these pigs I'm honestly just gonna let this play here's me trying to take pictures with the pigs there was a random turkey on this island which was so weird and then he taught us how to feed the pigs which we were feeding them hot Hot dogs so I hope there wasn't any pig in the hot dog or else that's really odd and like kind of really sad but after this experience it really made me want to not eat pigs I don't think I have I think I don't know don't hold me to that but yeah they were so freaking cute and then it was sunset and it was one of the most beautiful sunsets I think I have ever seen and we were just in the water the interesting thing about brand trips is you're kind of going alone like even though this time I had my manager there which was a big relief because usually you go in and it's just you and the other creators that you've never met before and then you kind of just have to like become friends with them within a few hours so when you're experiencing really beautiful places of the world you're also kind of alone in a weird way but this was super nice I mean look at this sunset it was gorgeous and at this point I was having the time of my life I was like I just saw pigs on an island 
I am chilling. I look so happy in this. Bye, pigs. <gasps> look at the sunset. We're back from the pigs, but I got, I think I'm allergic to the water, so I got like a rash. That's the end of day one. I look so bad. I have to wake up at 5 a.m. My call time is 5.30. I'm gonna go to bed. See you there. And then it was day two, but technically the first day of shooting video and photo. And boy, oh boy, can I tell you that I was nervous. I had to be up very early for hair and makeup. Okay, just finished hair and makeup. We still have this stuff in until we actually like take pictures. What is this? I don't know. We're on break it's a now. Pad on it, so it doesn't get oh, your hair. Oh, that's smart. It's like a big squishy thing. We're on break from 6.30 to 7.30. And then we got straight into shooting. And being on camera like that when it's other people is nerve wracking enough. But being in your swimsuit is more nerve wracking. But everyone there looked so different and there wasn't like a specific body type that you had to be. Which made me feel honestly so much better because I wouldn't appreciate if a brand had typical society standards of beauty. That would make me even more scared. But that is not what this was. <laughs> that was really good. But also something new for me was the crew was like 50 people. I, you can ask Ryan, I don't even like when he looks at me when he takes my picture. So for like 12 other people to be looking at you while you're taking photos in your bikini with a real photographer definitely gave me some, some uh, nervousness for this first day of shooting. But everyone was so nice. I ended up being fine. Okay, so this part. We're just kind of doing like some line. Charlie was just kind of filming everything and then in the corner you can see one of the crew members giving me an update on something and I look so annoyed and honestly so rude and I just, uh, I hate watching footage like this because in the moment I was so nervous because it was going to be the very first shot of the day and everyone was standing there looking at you take pictures in your swimsuit and I was just very like in my head in that moment and I kind of just like glazed over all my social skills and completely forgot how to be a human being. So I don't even remember her saying that to me because I was so nervous and in my head so I probably came off so rude and I hope I didn't do that for the rest of the day because then probably so many people thought I was really mean. That's something I'm working on. Whenever I get really anxious, I just kind of forget how to be a human being and then I kind of shut down and like go into my little shell and then I come off super rude. So I'm working on that and seeing footage of me do that definitely helps because then I can try to remember this moment and not do that again. Crew members, if you're watching this and if I ever came off short, cold, or rude to you, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. I probably didn't even process that we were having a conversation conversation quite honestly. This is my first experience with a huge crew like this so I definitely, it's a learning experience guys. The photographer was super nice and he was trying to help me feel more comfortable because I was like, um, I'm just gonna be honest with you dude, I don't, I don't know how to pose. I don't do this for a living. I usually do this in my own room and usually I'm just with my mom who I feel comfortable with. They were definitely patient enough with me to kind of loosen me up and hopefully they get some good photos. Also, I do this really weird, awkward dancing in between photos because I don't know what to do with my Myself, so I just do the most awkward dance possible oh. and then occasionally they would pair me up with someone else so that we could do a, like a question or would you rather for the Hollister Instagram so that's what this is possibly one piece depending on the cutouts depends on the day yeah I get it at all oh fuck <laughs> okay this shot it's kind of funny. You'll see it in the video, but there's this part where Josiah had to hand me the like Hollister flag. It was very specific, so we stood there for maybe 20 minutes just going back and forth of handing it to each other. And it was like the most simple basic movement, but it took 30 minutes because then sometimes the sun would go over. I don't know. It was just definitely my first experience with an actual production and taking multiple takes because you know, sometimes when I mess up on my, my videos, I don't even cut it out just like I did. I just stumbled on my words. I usually don't even re-say it. As you can see, they just moved us to multiple locations and gave us props and we were just, most of the time they're like, just laugh and dance. And it's usually actually fun, not just fake fun. So that made it a lot easier to look happy and you know, it's not really acting when it's actually fun <laughs> Every time I vlog I'm down here with my camera because no one else except for it was four youtubers total And everyone else there was not a youtuber. So I just didn't want them to watch me vlog So I'm always like vlogging down here. 1125. We're going to our next location Yay. What you're looking at right now is the bridge that I will later be jumping off of and then I learned how to drive the golf cart we wrapped shooting. Now I'm gonna drive the golf cart home. Um, just turn all the way to the right, right now. Yeah. Yeah. Both feet at once. 
because I mean we had just met I didn't want to like shove a camera in your face and be like hi just be my mom <laughs> but we're rooming and we just wrapped day one how was uh -huh. it for you it was good but it's just like a 5 30 a.m. call time yeah and I want to die a little bit but it's fun it's fun work but I want to die a little bit Adeline made us late <laughs> no what are you talking about yeah I walked out here really? and I was literally down there <laughs> you like the first one? Yeah, it was a very long day, but everyone was so nice. I'll probably like do a voiceover and talk about it. <laughs> but we're about to go to dinner, and I'm not even wearing a bra. I'm just wearing my pajamas to dinner because, you know, it feels good to wear a sweatshirt after all that. Mm -hmm. What'd you that do, girl modeling? Girl sweatshirt. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then it is day three, which is our second day of shooting. So this time I knew what to expect. I was less nervous and I knew everyone on the crew, not the crew necessarily, but like the other people in the swim squad and we had gone to dinner and everyone was so nice. It was a really good experience. I'll get to that at the end, but also you wouldn't expect it because you're kind of just having fun all day and like that's supposed to be your job. But surprisingly, you do get very tired by the end of it because you have been up since like 5 a.m. and then we would wrap shooting around like 5.30 p.m. or until the sun went down. Fake laughing in the sun kind of does get tiring, which sounds almost like really bratty because what a fun job. But I wasn't expecting to get as tired as I was. And as you can see, I was struggling a little bit in the next morning. It's day two of Hollister. My call time is 6.30 today, but I can definitely feel a little more tired. But it'll be a lot. We just have more locations, different poses, new props, different swimsuits, and just overall really fun time. This is just me awkwardly. They told me to get lower and like dance towards the camera, and I just me being so awkward. Honestly, watching this footage though, I look just about as awkward as everyone else was when we were told to dance, so it makes me feel a little bit better. That could be a sick gift. Okay, I'll go hands down. Yeah. And then I jump off the bridge for content. Yay! Mid-air, I was like, oh they had a stunt coordinator, they had a lifeguard there, they had a lot of safety precautions, they had a boat there just in case someone started drowning and then the lifeguard would get them, put them on the boat. So this ended up being one of the most fun parts about this trip. There's them telling us to pose on the bridge and we're like trying not to fall off but also trying to be cute. And then they wanted us to hold the Hollister flag and like jump off with it, but I don't think it ended up working with the two of us, so then they asked just one of us to do it. So I was like, okay, I'll, I guess I'll just like jump off this bridge by myself with this flag and it ended up looking really cool. I was up there all alone, so scared, but it ended up being really fun. <laughs> what you're about to see is our very final shot of the entire week. Everyone had props, some people had bikes, floaties. It's basically, there's actually a storyline to the video which you will see, but this is us kind of like all running to the beach. And I'm so short, but I don't really like being the center of attention, so I just kept standing in the back. <laughs> so will you even see me in this video? We'll find out because most of the time I'm just hiding. And then after we wrapped, everyone wanted to go to dinner and then to karaoke. I did not sing any karaoke because we all know I am way too shy for that, but I definitely enjoyed watching everyone else do karaoke. And then I flew back home and here I am, safe and sound, with a new experience in my back pocket. That was so fun and watching this footage makes me miss it a lot, but luckily that is not our last trip. We are doing another trip for Hollister, not out of the country this time, unfortunately, but still a fun one nonetheless. I love, love, love working with Hollister. Hi Hollister, I love you. Please hire me forever and always. I hope this gave you a little bit of the inside scoop onto how to 
what am I saying? Into how branded trips work. So the next time you see a YouTuber go on a brand trip, maybe you will understand it a little bit more. No drama in this one, but that's because it's Hollister and they're very good at picking who they choose for these types of things and everyone got along super well and they were so nice and down to earth. And trust me, I was scared that some of us would have conflicts, but we none of us did. So sorry, no tea to spill. All positivity here, ladies and gentlemen. Big thank you to Hollister and big thank you to you guys for giving me this platform where huge companies like Hollister even know who I am and invite me to do things like this. It's really just because of you guys that any of this is possible. And I legitimately wake up every day so grateful and not even comprehending what is happening in my life. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I freaking love you, girly pops. I post videos every fam Friday, but I've also been trying to do more times a week, multiple times a week. So you can subscribe to join the family, become a girly pop, and click the notification bell so that you know whenever I post it's not on fan Friday because it could be pretty random at this point you can also follow me on Instagram to keep up if you would like to if you're a Twitter person I have one of those I have a vlog channel as well so you can go watch my pig island vlog if you never got to watch that one it's a really cute one and I will see you guys somewhere else in the internet okay love you bye